Hey, this stuff. is John. I'm at the Emerald Hollow Sluiceway. Um, I went through a bucket. It was a partial bucket, maybe like a tenth of a bucket that was so little in it. But it was the bucket that I keep at home that I wash off the larger material that I take from here. So I went through that, and I knew there was going to be some good stuff in it, and it sure didn't let me down. As you can see, I just got just that. But that is from a bucket that was only filled up that much with material. Muscovite. You can see the, the lines in this. I always love those how it puts those lines in there. Hopefully that shows up. Some smoky. This has little points on it right there. And then check this one out right there. There's some more points. And then there's a piece that broke away. There's some more points. There's a nice point right here. Showing some of that plating. Almost looked like it tried to be a scepter. There's some more points. There's some root tail right here in this one. Hopefully you can pick that out. This, I'm not sure if this is tourmaline. At first I thought it was limonite. And it almost looks, looks like limonite after garnet. But I'm starting to think that it's probably tourmaline. Getting green there. It's all mica though. Here's some nice points. Check this out. There's some points right here. Pretty cool, huh? There's a crystal with several different points. Here's a tabby. Flat there. And all secondary healing. Yeah, that one's that one's pretty cool. This one here has red root tail in it. How about that? So, I mean, with this and this and this, this stuff here, these are, are laying out. I got a top three. And if the rest of them are this cool, yeah, the top three is going to be really good today. Here is some anchorite. Look at the rhombus. This is super, super light. Now there's some root heel right there. And it looks Ooh. like there's more in it, which would make me think it'd be heavier than yeah. it is. But again, it's very light. Another smaller piece, very light. Here is some mica and some crystal facing right there. Boy, that... My eyes keep getting drawn back to that. There's some tourmaline. There's a cool little crystal here. The mica that I'm finding, you can see through this. And then I found this mica, which is some of the greenest muscovite that I have found to date right here. It's not, there's not a whole lot of light right now. But this stuff is super green. All right.
more red rutil in that. That might even come from that. All right, we're ready for the top three. Okay, here's number three. This is quartz, and in the quartz you have some feldspar, and then you have the black tourmaline. Terminated black tourmaline. All right, number three. Number two is this. I'm going to get this all nice and wet. This is the runner up to number one now. Look at these little points here. You have all that going on. You have mica inclusions. Crazy sidecars, but look, here's the real amazing thing. Is these inclusions. Those are deeper into the crystal. See, none of them stick through the skin. They're all in there, set in there. That is number two. And number one. This has your mica. But look at these growths right here. See those growths? And then it's right in the background here is anchorite crystals. And these are nice ones. Look at this one here. Anchorite with a book of root tail in its mouth. And then the, there, it's two of them. Got twins. So, not only the mica, the twinning. And then we've got, it looks like a celestial type growth there. And there. Just covered it. So, one. Two. And three. And our runner up. And that is it for now. Such a small amount of material has provided a lot of good looking stuff. All right, that's it for now.